Hi, my name's Charlie Thorburn. Welcome to Mordor Gundogs. This is Waffle. Waffle is a young homebred Cocker Spaniel. Um, and we're just going to start teaching him how to walk to heel. So hope you enjoy the, uh, the video um, more than Waffle does. And uh, you learn something. Thank you. So this is Waffle. He's a little Cocker Spaniel. So what we're gonna do with, with Waffle is we're just gonna show you the kind of raw material and where we would start. He's probably gonna flip around on the lead a bit, make a bit of a mess of it all, but we'll, we'll just, with a bit of patience and perseverance, hopefully we'll get him to get, him to get it right. So what, we're, what we wanna make sure is that he learns pretty early on that the lead, that the lead tugging him around is his own doing, good boy. And actually, if he stays close to us, the lead's not going to, the lead's not going to bother him. Awful. So every time he's going to pull and lunge a little bit, I'm just giving him a little counter pull, a little tug, okay? And I'm not allowing the lead to go full, full length. I'm keeping it a bit shorter, but I am trying to keep it loose, okay? So that he realizes that that loose lead is way more comfortable. And you see after just, just a, a 30 seconds or so, he's just starting to calm down. And as soon as I'm, I'm watching him, as soon as he goes to pull away from me, I'm ready just to give him a little tug. Good waffle. Now, there's an old saying that we all know, you shouldn't try and run before you can walk. In terms of uh, walking, uh, walking a dog at heel on the lead, if you can't stand still without your dog flying around like this, then you're not ready to start walking. If you can't walk, you can't run with him. It's exactly the same concept. So we're just trying to get him to understand that when he's on the lead, he's just got to stand next to me calmly, okay? Now, he's a young Cocker Spaniel, so he's got a limited concentration span. So there's only so long we can do that for before he's going to start leaping around again and being a fool. So we've got to be really careful that we don't try and do this for five or ten minutes, even a few minutes like we were with the with the slightly older dogs more with a little bit of training under their belt already. It's just about doing just a little bit at a time, okay? Waffle, waffle. And I'm just using my body language, just right down low, waffle, waffle. A little bit of pressure on the lead, waffle, waffle. Come on. Good boy. Just trying to show him that being next to me is the place to be, okay? And he's just starting to really starting to relax and realize that he doesn't need to fly off the handle and disappear off into the distance. He can just hang around with me. So I'm now just starting to tick that box of, can I stand still with my dog with a loose lead? He's sitting, he doesn't know how to sit. He's just doing that out of choice, but he's just with me. He's relaxing. He's starting to go. And that's what we're looking for all the time with these dogs. When we're training them to do something calm, we need them just to take that big sigh and just calm down. I don't want to be telling him off for jumping up when I'm actually wanting him to stay next to me. And after all, you always know the cocker people because they've got dirty trousers. Cockers love jumping up. Chewing the lead a little bit, I wouldn't allow that to become a, a habit, but I'm not worried about it too much at the moment. Again, as long as all I'm worried about is that one task I'm trying to achieve. And that's what's really important whenever you're doing anything with a dog. Think about the, the key task. What are you actually trying to do? And if other things start coming along, then you're just going to confuse the dog. I see a lot of people, their dog's pulling on the lead and they stop and they make the dog sit down. Well, what are you trying to do? You're trying to do healing or you're trying to do sitting? Because if every time your dog pulls, you, you stop and you make them sit, yeah, great, tick in the box, you can make your dog sit, but they're not actually learning to be any better at, at to walking to heel. So I'm walking away backwards, with, so I'm keeping my body language facing him. With the older dogs, I was trying to encourage them to be on the left. With Waffle, all I'm trying to do is just encourage him to follow me around and let him realize that that lead is really comfy if he follows me around. Whether he's between my legs, he's at the back of my legs, he's jumping around, it doesn't matter as long as that lead is loose, loose, loose all the time. And as time goes on, as I say, what I'm doing with him now is I'm pushing him further than I might normally do. But he's quite a confident little dog, he's taking it, he's taking the pressure He's taking the, the momentum of, of advancing quicker than we might normally do with a dog. He's very young, as you can see. 
So we might do more with an, uh, an older dog who's at a similar stage in training to him, i.e. zero training. We might put more pressure on them because they can handle it a bit like us. The older we are, the more new things we can cope with. And you can see there, apart from the odd little moment, he's really starting to get, so he's having a little middle of a overexcited time. So we don't start going, oh, no, 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 and winding him up because the way we talk is the way the dogs get a vibe from us. If we start going, oh, no, 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 the dog's gonna start getting excited. If we're calm and we're, everything's calm and simple, the dog just calms down. Waffle, heel, the lead is becoming irrelevant to him and he's just following me around but there's no distractions there's nothing going on here there's no people there's no dogs there's no birds i mean obviously the birds i'm not in control of but there's relatively not much going on he's just all he's got to focus on is me and following me following me along And we've gone from a dog that was flipping around like a crazy crocodile to one that I could almost say is starting to walk to heel. I hope you enjoy seeing Waffle every week. And remember, you get out what you put in.